السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ مارننگ ٹو ایوری باڈی ان مائی پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیو فنشڈ آف ود دا نیچرل ویجیٹیشن اینڈ وائلڈ لائف آف برازیل چیپٹر فائیو ناؤ وی کنٹینیو ود دا سیم لیسن اینڈ اٹ ول بی آل اباؤٹ انڈیا ناؤ ایز وی ہیو آلریڈی فنش اوور برازیل ایف یو وانٹ آئی جسٹ ریوائز اوور دا برازیلین پارٹ آف اٹ ایف یو فلگ لک پیج نمبر تھرٹی فور فگر نمبر فائیو پوائنٹ فور دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف فارسٹ اور دا نیچرل لائف نیچرل ویجیٹیشن از شون آؤٹ ہیئر ایکویٹوریل فارسٹ ٹراپیکل گراس لینڈس سوپی لینڈس ہاٹ ڈیسڈ فارسٹ تھانی شربس اینڈ دا ٹیمپریٹ گراس لینڈ آف برازیل وائلڈ لائف آف برازیل از شون ان دا سیم فگر فائیو پوائنٹ فور وی کین سی دا کانڈور دا گولڈن ٹیمرین گولڈن لائن ٹیمرین دا مکاؤ دا اسکرل دا اینکونڈا دا ایلیگیٹر دا سوان دا سوارڈ فش and the various types of birds where there are ample amount of insects also available in the whole of Brazil special orchids are also there the fish piranhas which does not la- uh, allow anyone to live in and around the region where they keep swimming or living in that aquatic region of Brazil now we move on to the natural variation of India figure 5.3 page number 33 the region of india you can see india has two types of desert one is the hot desert which is known as the thar desert or the great indian desert or the marusthali desert then you have the cold desert which is occupied in the state of jammu kashmir in the ladakh region where the highest peak of india that is the k2 8611 meters in height the whole region of himalayas you can see the different types of forest all over india evergreen forest in the dark green color light green showing you deciduous forest in the complete center part of india the dark green that is evergreen forest is in the bottom or the foothills of the himalayan ranges the eastern part of india at the state of assam meghalaya tripura nagaland then you have the complete western ghats right from maharashtra down to goa and kerala then you have the thani shrubs that is the gray in color where there is there are different types of shrubs stunted bushes out there then you have the himalayan forest where it is more or less covered by snow all around the year then you have the coastal for uh, coastal forest in that case and that's the whole of india and the major type of forest available obviously india has the largest delta which is known as the sundarban delta and where there is the sundri trees are available in abundance out there india receives a good ample amount of rainfall and various types of trees are available in india durable trees heavy and large hardwood trees the mahogany trees the rosewood tree the rubber tree various types of creepers are also available various high biodiversity is found in the forest of india here different types of leaves are also there where ample amount of rainfall is there and because of different types of rainfall available all around the year to, uh, to different parts of the year and different areas of the year in that way in the place of india thorny shrubs are there short shunted shrubs are there leaves are of various sizes out there we have different types of trees the catashu the acacia the kg aloe vera cactus a gave in that manner and from the different types of water bodies you have your swampy regions where there are ample amount of deltas on the west east coast of india there are good amount of deltas and the largest delta in the world is the sundri sundarban delta in the in india where both the ganga and the brahmaputra meet and em- meet the bay of bengal estuaries lagoons are also found in india in that places in many many places of 
are on borderline where Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean is seen on a large scale basis. Because of the various altitudes, three types of forests are found due to, according to the altitudes in that way. High, highest altitude seasonal flowering plant, uh, trees are found in regions like medium altitude coniferous trees like pine, deodar, fir are found and the foothills mixed forests are found in such, such case. So that was the whole of India's natural vegetation. Now, if you would like to study or practice your maps out, page number 35, figure 5.5, showing you one blank map of India, you can get this scanned out on any scanners and then take ample amount of print out, print out of that and you can practice all the different types of maps you have to do. Remember, there are 22 maps all over in that case. So let it be as it is. 22 maps of India and Brazil where you have to complete it as an assignment and remember use pencil colors only don't forget the legend you can use any type of colors but pencil colors no sketch pens no ball pens no sparkle pens or no fancy full color pens in that way you must complete all the 22 maps as assignment given to you you have to remember all there are 22 maps where you can you have to put it up India and Brazil as your assignment assignment having 22 maps with Brazil and India which will consist of 10 marks for that in that case so you have to remember that you complete those maps clean clear proper perfect there should not be any eraser work in that case and no problematic things should be taken place now we move on to the wildlife of india like the brazil map is showing you wildlife of brazil here we have ample amount of animals found in different parts of india page 35 right column Elements are found in hot and humid forest. Second one, one horned rhinoceros are found in swampy and marshy land of Assam. Next is your wild ass and camels are found in arid land, dry land or the Thar desert. Snow leopards and yaks are found in the snow capped region that you can find in the cold desert that is the Ladakh region of India or the Jammu Kashmir region. Indian bisons Deer, antelopes and monkeys are found in the peninsula region that means the center part of India, the Deccan Plateau region have all these types of animals. If you have any doubts regarding these pictures or you don't recognize the animals, you can just put the name on the any of your browsers, you can view their pics in such a manner. India is the only country where both tigers and lions are found. Obviously, India has good amount of wildlife sanctuaries in the state of Maharashtra where you have the Sanjay Gandhi National Park, we have the Karla Bird Sanctuary in, on the Panvel region in that way. Then we have different types of sea animals also that is your turtles, your crocodiles, your gharials. All these types of animals are found in the wetland and region of India. Apart from that, you have good amount of birds also, where peacocks are available, where Indian bustard, the kingfisher, the peasants, peasant, the ducks, parakeets, parakeets are different types of parrots. Crane is like your ostrich or your emu bird in that case, and pigeons obviously are there. All these species make it a land of unique habitat of wildlife habitat means dwelling or a place for living for any type of animal in that case next we move on to the next paragraph many species of wildlife are on the verge of extinction from india because of first and foremost thing is poaching that means 
illegal killing of wildlife that is the main reason where most of the animals are being killed for various type of business in that way pollution is the next reason where ample amount of factories where ample amount of degradation of land where ample amount of drainage sewage are creating pollution of different types and because of such thing we are losing our own wildlife of india also even though government have taken step ups in that way national parks have been set up wildlife sanctuaries have been set up bird sanctuaries have been set up and the bio reserve bio reserve means the living wildlife reserves for the protection of wildlife and forest in india have been set up for all the benefits in india the number of tiger is also slowly and steadily depreciating or diminishing in that manner well the chapter is on the close of it chapter 5 close completely clean and clear done up national vegetation and wildlife of brazil and india if you have any doubts any queries any problems you can chat with me you can talk with me you can give me a miss call or you can yet refer to phonics educare with i have explained to much better than phonics educare not that no but they will read each and every word and explain where i do not have to read any word but i explain to you directly what is in the book and even outside the book you can refer to various forms of digest or various form of uh, different types of reference books are available in that way you can have master keys you have can target you have any other reference books you have the best reference i would tell you to refer is your net become netizens rather than being citizens and you will learn more in that manner you have any doubt please refer to the net and if you have yet doubt you can talk to me but remember you better sit with your textbook and talk to me in such a particular manner tell me the page number tell me the details and most important thing i'm telling you again and again my assignment will carry you 10 marks and that 10 marks will be counted towards your board exam in that way and it will give you 10 marks that's very important in that way if you lose if you do not do my maps you will not only lose 10 marks regarding what i am going to give you from my pocket from my internal assessment but you will lose from your board point of view where you will be writing your paper also where 14 marks are directly from the map of india and brazil question number 4a 4b 6a and 6b consist of 14 complete marks and you don't learn your maps you lose all those 14 marks that the 14% is gone and if you don't do my assignment of 22 maps both india and brazil you lose those 10 marks that means you are going to lose 24 marks out of 40 50 sorry so you will be on the verge of failing rather than if you want to go ahead be positive do your work as you are told and instructed so please 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 complete your work on time do it re- refer to the net and become netizens rather than being citizens of india only you become netizens you become netizens all over the world where the wto keeps on working and where you are becoming internationally renowned you become globalized in that way we are herans we are herites we are ever ready to work we are dedicated devoted and determined to do our fulfilling work so please give me a call i'm available 24 by 7 jazakallah goodbye